Hey everybody, it's your at Large Magic Media. Today I have a true like sampler platter here of uh, just some packs I went and bought the other day at the uh, at that my LGS at my comic book store, DNA Comics in Noble, Texas. Um, I got all set boosters except for a couple here. Of course, the infamous play boosters from the new set, and that's when I had to get a uh, a collector booster. I still don't have any uh, ink cards, and I haven't bought a box of this. Um, I'm not super excited about this set, but I thought, eh, I'll just get a pack while I'm there, doing a little smorgasbord, and we'll just see what we can, what we can get. Also bought a couple of these Jumpstart packs from, uh, these Lord of the Rings things, and there's one and two volumes, which is pretty crazy. And I don't know if any of y'all any have bought any of those. Um, it's very interesting to me, only because... Um, they like are expensive. Like if you if you go in like even on eBay or TCG Player or whatever, they're not really like that cheap of a pack to get. So I think that that's very very interesting that it's not a super like cheap pack to get. So um, you know I was kind of talking to the dude at the at my LGS. Dave, if you see him over there, stop by, say hi. But what I thought was really interesting about these is, um, or what his thoughts were as, as far as like why it was such an expensive thing to get, or it still held its value, or whatever, however you want to think about it, is that you can still get things like uh, the, uh, you know, the Orcish Bowmasters and some stuff like that. So, I've never opened one of these before, so we'll see. We got Trixie Hobbits here. There's a blue. So I don't know what is going to be in here is the blue. Theoretically, this should have a pull tab on it somewhere. Let me look with it here. Use my handy dandy stabberoonie. I'm not going to mess with it. There we go. Alright, and let's see what we get here. So we got the Trixie. And we have a glorious Gale there. Some commons and uncommons. Okay, and then there's one of the cool map lands. Right there. And then some lands. It's like this is just the regular Lord of the Rings lands. Okay, and there we go. We had the Elvish Mariner. Our Trixie set here. I don't remember if this is in the regular set or not, to be honest. Lost Style Calling, I'm almost positive it is, though. So, there you go. There's that. That is not the Mythic one, if there is a Mythic one in there. And then here's something from Volume 2. So, we'll see what we get here. And in this case, we get Cunning, also a blue set. So, interesting that I got blue on both. Which is fine. I like blue, so I'm not, I'm not mad about it or anything. We'll see if we get anything good. Again, this is going to require some poking and prodding with my special knife. So here we go. It's a similar but different. There's a Glorious Gale again. There's a Lindor. And there's a Saga. And there's a Land. And then some more of the regular Lands. And then a couple Foil Lands. And then we have the Scroll of a Silder, which I think is in the regular set. And then the Minas Tirith Garrison. Which I'm also pretty sure is in that set as well. So, nothing too exciting. And then we got some Nukapena, and this is like just Japanese printed, it is. So that means all the money will be on the, right up in the front. And uh, again, this is uh, a set that I actually really liked, especially like the art in this set. I know people have their, their own feelings about this. But for me, hello. I'm really into Art Deco, and so I think it's really cool. So I am going to do a switcheroo here. Let's see, do the little card tricks that we come up with. All right, we got the courtyard. I'm going to get some uncommons here. And we got a mythic. We got Arcane Bombardment. So that's cool. I'll take it. The Swooping Protector, and then back to Art Card here, and then some lands of various types there. So 
So pretty good start. Started off with a mythic. I'll take it. Um, I know we have those two weird cards over there. There's two weird ones over there, but it's all good. I hope this is also Japanese. It's okay. Go ahead and like this. I need to do our little card trick again here. Oh, that's why I didn't know it was okay. So let's see. That's why I was like, wait a minute, I went straight to the straight to the beef. Alright, here we go. Dress the sabotage. The whelp. Oh, there we go. We got a land here. Maybe not. And then a foil uncommon. Some art cards and such. Oops. Alright, and then some more cards. Maybe these aren't in the front. But there we go. It's like our Pluson Forest. Alright, marching the machines. Set. Another set that I actually really enjoy. I thought that was a pretty good set. I saw that the, the, the press on it was really like tanked out. But I actually really liked it. Oh, my foil's up front. I mean, it's <laughs> like these. Alright, here we go. So I really enjoyed this set too. I thought this was a really fun set. Again, has a good set of lands in it. These full arts are pretty cool. Little foil one right there. What's that guy? He's cool. Serpent Blade Assailant. And a foil. And then we have the Deep Root Wayfinder, a green Merfolk. So if you're playing some Simic, there's your good one. And Barrel, Chief of Compliance. And then an Uncommon Battle. Oops, goodbye. And the prize, the Paretic Prince, lightly played. And there we go. And I think this is one of the things, I don't know, like, it, some people really hated the, that they went back and kind of redid some of those old school, like, uh, borders, that sort of thing. I thought it was cool. I had no issue with it. Alright, so here we go. Murders at Carlaw. Play boosters. There's some play boosters here. You might get a list card. You might get an art card. Who knows what you're going to get out of these. So again, this isn't one of the more beloved sets to come out. They said it was the best of both draft and set, but most people felt like, including myself, that it was really the worst of both. And they felt much, much more like draft draft cards than uh, other than otherwise. So Case of the Shattered Pact. And what do y'all think of those cases? Like, there's a couple of them that are pretty cool. There's a black one that gives you like a skeleton or whatever. I can't think of what it's called, but they're like, man, it's essentially a tutor. It's a pretty cool little card. So there's a deadly cover up. We have a foil soul search and a mountain and a thopper token. So nothing too exciting. Once again, we got one rare, and that seems to be the the case for all the cards in that set. I get to where it's pretty uncommon to get more than one rare in this, which is why I say it's really they're just glorified draft packs. I mean, honestly. All right, there, hey, there, there's a Mox Amber. I would take that. That would be a cool hit. So here we go, Brothers War. Another set that I really like. I'm still missing some cards out of this set that I never went and got. Two of the big hits, the Portal to Phyrexia. I don't have a Cityscape Leveler. And um, I never got a Mural, which is like, you know, a really cool card. So it is what it is. I have, however, gotten several of these Chromatic Lanterns, which is, you know, it's a good card, but I've gotten more than my uh, fair share of those at this point. Okay. Oh, we did get actually a list card out of this one. We got a Siege Modification from uh, Kaladesh, I believe, or what, what is this? No, it's uh, uh, AFR, I can't think what it's called. Revolt, Ether Revolt, there we go. We had to spit it out. And it's still Seraph, which is the, the angel, what's it called, the artifact creature. Yeah. So, Ixalan, another set that was real popular. It's another one of the recent sets that did really well. Again, I like this set. I'm not super, super into the, the art of this set, but it is cool. And some uncommons here. Four uncommons, in fact. And then some commons. And then these lands are really cool, too. I do really like these lands. 
That's a basic full art. It's really cool. It's a pretty cool picture. There we go. With a throwback to Laura in there with the Battle of Wand Oak. She folk warrior. Okay, in the Ancestral Reminiscence. And we have a Jade Lot Spelunker, which is a pretty cool. Uh, a little rare there. It's not too bad. And then we have Twist and Turns and the Gold Fury Strider. So nothing too spicy yet, nothing too exciting. Um, this is probably one of my favorite sets in recent time is the Wilds of Eldraine. I really, really like this set. I think it was probably one of the, the, the most loaded sets to come out in quite some time with uh, the Fairy Magic section in there. It's often, you know, you're, you often got a chance to get a pretty decent hit out of there. And I feel like it's just much more loaded than than a lot of the sets have been. Certainly more loaded than the, the Karlov set that had uh, just come out or whatever. I'm certainly much more loaded than that. So here we go. We have another set of these cool full art lands. I really like the full art lands in that set too. Oh, there we got the anime defense of the art card evolving wilds and we have the utopia sprawl. So there's a fairy magic one out there. You can tell by that symbol. We got a tail for the ages. Old Flitter Fang and the Splashy Spellcaster. So, again, another set booster, but with just one, one rare in there, which is alright. And I just opened one of these packs, uh, 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 boxes recently. And uh, you should go on TCD Planet and check this out. So, the set boosters and the drafts um, are a little pricey. And uh, you should try to go find yourself one of those um, one of those complete bundles. Remember those with the oil cards and all that stuff? They're like 150 bucks now, 140 or plus to, to to pick one of those up. So I thought that was was very interesting. <laughs> I got a pack just like this the other day with the vats right there together. Also very interesting. So here we go. Again, another set with really cool lands in it. We had those those complete bundles, which are a big deal, and they come out. Blue Sun Zenith, the Flesh Cutter, and we have the Monumental Facade for a rare. And we got the Herbrask and the Ravenous Necro Titan again, just one rare. So, I'm not having much luck, but you know, it is what it is sometimes. So, this should be set up regular. So, MH2 set booster. So, hopefully, we can find an elemental in here. Or monkey. I've never pulled the monkey in any of the sets that the monkeys come in. So, you know, if they wanted to give me one today, I would certainly not complain. But otherwise, I've opened a ton of this product. And I've gotten lots of good hits and furies and elementals and so forth and so on. But here we go. The Douthy Voidwalker. Good card. Seal, seal of Cleansing. World Weary. Foil. And that's it. I feel like that was set up really weird. Like, I don't I feel like it was like not in the right order. Like this didn't feel like it was in the right spot, but maybe so. So set booster there. And then you know I've opened all these set boosters. <laughs> and granted there's all different uh, different uh packs and that sort of thing, but I've only got one list card out of the whole out of all of them. So very interesting. Alright, and then we have uh, Lord of the Rings. So this uh, went, you know, nuts this uh summer. Or this, I guess, past year. I think it was in the summer, but maybe not. Another really, really good set with lots of good stuff in it. I keep moving that one around there, trying to trying to stick it down there, but it really wants to come out. So there's Den of Thor. Precious Fell Beast. And we have Pippin's Bravery. And the Cinematic. And then we have our rare. We're going to get Goldberry. The River Daughter. And that's it. And then we have Gimli. Counter of Kills. And another mini game. I've gotten several mini games. What's that? So with the mini games tonight. All right, last chance for romance. Here we got a collector booster. I'm hoping to get a little ink. However, with the way things are going, I'm not expecting it at all. Let's see. This is made in Japan, and oh, okay, it does have a a thingy on it. I didn't feel like it did, but it does. So here we go. And I do a little card trick. Just. Uh, Make it interesting. All right, we have demand answers. Going to our full art lands. This full art lands are kind of just bland for me. Not yet, private eye. 
the lead pipe. Got some comments here, including the dog walker. Our thopter token. All right, and then let's see what we get here. We got the war leader's call in the showcase here. Pretty decent card if you're playing Boros. We got the door keeper throw from the uh, commanders. We have the prisoner's dilemma. The bolt strider is a uh, mythic, and the fugitive code breaker. So nothing super exciting. Leave me a comment. Let you know what you really think in there. I feel like this is ready for a big giant, you know, F in the comments. But, you know, you can just uh, let me know what you think. Like, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care.